Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at rounding uh, money to the nearest pound and pence and also how to do checks with money. So at Excel's objectives for this particular unit are being able to add and subtract um, sums of money using decimal notation. Check out my videos on addition, subtraction, multiplication and division with money. And also make approximate calculations by rounding sums of money to the nearest pound or 10 pence. I have a video on rounding to the nearest 10 and rounding to the nearest 100. Check this out as well for extra practice on rounding. Our keywords today are pounds, pence, coins and notes. The most common place that people lose marks is not understanding the place value. So check out my video on place value and not understanding the units used with money and not understanding exactly what the question is asking them. So when we're rounding to nearest 10 pence or pound, same as when we rounded to the nearest 10 and nearest 100, we're always looking at the column next to the column we're rounding. Five or above, round up. Four or below, leave alone. So when we're rounding to nearest 10 pence, I'm looking at the pennies. When I'm rounding to nearest pound, I'm looking at the 10 pence. So rounding to nearest 10 pence means finding the nearest number ending in zero. So for example, £1.50, £2.80, £5.20. It's the pennies I'm looking at. If those pennies are five pence or above, I'm rounding that next 10 pence up. If it's four or below, I'm leaving that alone. So for example, Lucy has £3.87 um, £3 savings. How much does she have to the nearest 10 pence? Now, because that's a five, it's over above, that's a seven, it's going to round to £3.90. So if that had been £3.84, it would have rounded to £3.80. But because it's £3.87, it's going to round to £3.90. So, for example, if I was rounding £7.42 to the nearest 10 pence, that would be £7.40 because it is a two, it's five or below. One more example, if I was rounding £11.91, it would stay as £11.90 because of that one. And let's do one more. Let's say I was rounding £32.37. Because that's a seven, it would round to £32.40. When I'm rounding to nearest pound, I want the number ending 0, 0, so £5, £8, £12. And I'm looking at my 10 pences now. Five or above, round up. Four or below, leave alone. So, for example, Edward has £12.20 savings. How much does she have to the nearest pound? She has £12.20. That two is less than five, so I'm going to leave it alone. So if somebody had, let's say, £14.47 and I wanted it to the nearest pound, this four is my important one, it would stay, it would round 14 because that's a five or below. That's a four, five or below. If it was £19.92, because this is above a five, it would round to £20. Again, check out my video on rounding to nearest 10 or 100 for some more practice on rounding. Now, in an exam, it might look like this. So the locker room costs £89.40. Round this to the nearest pound. Did you get 89? I hope so. Because this is a four in the 10 pences, I'm rounding it. I'm leaving it alone. Round £48.90 to the nearest pound. Did you get 49? I hope so. Because this is a 9, it's rounding up. If you've written 49.00, that's fine too. Now at entry 3, you, we use rounding to check our answers quite a lot. Here's an example. So Brett works for a printing company. He buys five packs of card. Each pack of card costs £14.06. So I would work out what five packs of card were and they're £70.30. I would get three marks for that. If the question then went on and asked me to round £14.06 to the nearest pound, I would get an additional mark for knowing that was 14. Because this is a zero, 
it would stay as 14. My check would be 14 times 5 is £70. Don't forget, when you're doing a check, you are doing the exact same sum you did in the first question, but you are replacing your rounded number into the sum. Here's an example. So I would like you to pause the video and see if you can get all five marks for this, please. OK, let's see how you got on. So for three marks, hopefully you knew the Talia question was an addition and you got £48.10. Round £3.76 to the nearest 10 pence. Well, because that's a six, it's going to round to £3.80. Use the rounded cost to check your answer to question eight. You're doing the exact same calculation again, but with your £3.80 instead of your £3.76. Let's do another one. Here's a question about Kamar. Give this one a go for me, please. OK, let's check it out. Hopefully you did your £10.90 times 24 and got £261.60. Round £10.90 to the nearest pound. Now, because that's a nine, that's going to round to £11. And use the rounded number to check your answer. Again, I'm doing the exact same calculation as I did in the first one, but replacing my original number with my rounded number. So in this video, we've looked at rounding and we've looked at checks. Hopefully, um, this has been helpful for you. I wish you the best to look in your studies. Any questions, pop them in the comments and please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.